So not only is a podcast guest spot, you getting on other shows, a tactic to grow your show, but it's also a tactic to grow you. It's a tactic for you to understand where you fit in in the grand scheme of podcasting, of speaking, of storytelling. Podcast Growth People, welcome back to another episode of Podcast Growth University, where we talk about podcasts, all things podcasts, all the time. I hope you enjoyed our latest episode, episode number 13. People are very supportive in the beginning. I talked about how in the beginning, when you're changing your identity from whatever it is to a podcaster or a content creator, oftentimes you get a lot of support, but that support tends to trickle down as you get further into the journey. Today, for episode number 14, the importance of getting on other shows. So as of this moment, I believe I've probably been on maybe 250 to 300 other podcasts. And it did not start off that way in the first couple of years. I don't think we were doing any other podcasts, which in retrospect is kind of a mistake. But here is the importance of getting on other shows. There's so many different reasons. One, you're going to understand how to tell your story at a very, very, very deep level. Because on most podcasts, depending on what genre or category you were in, the host is going to say, tell us a little bit about yourself, or how did you get to where you are today, or whatever the question may be. And you will realize very quickly that you are able to come up with and really cater and polish your story. Ultimately, you want your story to be impactful. You want your story to be emotional. You want your story to move the listeners. Because at the end of the day, and this is the weird thing, it's very hard to help somebody if you don't connect with them first. Again, this podcast that you're listening to is very different than our other podcast because my goal is to help you become a better podcaster. So it's more tactics and deeper understanding than it is story, right? Because this is like a how-to show. But when you're going on another show, and you're adding value, the value is usually in the stories. So when you go on a podcast, you're gonna have the opportunity to tell your story. And you're gonna help polish that story every time you're on there telling it. So that's number one. Number two, it's gonna help you learn and deliver other stories to an audience. So if you're a speaker, one of the best things you can be doing is going on other podcasts because what will happen is somebody will ask you a question. So for me, one of the questions I get asked most often is, why is consistency so important? And for a while, I would just try to, I would try to explain it. And I said, well, I need some sort of story. I need some sort of example. So now when somebody says to me, why is consistency so important for life, not just podcasting? I always go to this story. I think about it this way. If I wanted to do the splits today, I would most likely tear something. It would not be a positive experience. But if I practice the splits every single day from today, till 365 days from today, I'm willing to bet I'd be able to do the splits. If I only did it five days a week, I might still be able to do it, but it might take longer. If I only did it three days a week, I probably wouldn't be able to do it all, uh, do it at all. And if I only did it once a week, not a lot would change. That's the importance of consistency. And again, that's just the Cliff Notes version. But when you're on other shows, it's going to force you to really, really, really lean into storytelling and understand those stories at a deep level. Number three, you're going to meet a lot of people. I mean, for many of us, we are doing this podcasting thing because we want to connect with other people. So you being on another show is going to give you the opportunity to connect with somebody and potentially bring people into your show. That's a huge one. That's one of the reasons that I'm, I'm going on as many other shows as I am is because we're trying to, going back to episode 12, the three buckets of podcast listeners, I'm trying to um, bring as many cold eyes as possible to our platform. I'm trying to introduce as many new people to our podcast as possible. That's why I go on so many other shows. I think the probably the biggest thing in the, the most important piece of you getting on other podcasts, number one, it's going to build your area of credibility. It's going to build your area of expertise. So this is what's going to happen. You're going to go on a show 
and maybe you've never been on a show at this point. So this is what happens. You'll go on the show, the person will interview you, and at the end, when you're, when their episode drops with you in it, they'll usually either send you over some social media content or they'll tag you on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, whatever your platforms of choice are, whatever platforms you're on, then you'll share those to your audience. Now here's the thing. What is that ultimately gonna do? It's going to show your audience that you are really, really, really next level, that you are somebody who is out there doing it. Because if you think about it, how many people do you know that have actually been on a podcast? They've been on a guest, they've been featured on a podcast. Unless you're in the podcasting industry, it's pretty rare. So imagine when the people that follow you on social media see, oh, you know, Blank was on a bunch of podcasts this week. Something must have changed. These people value Blank enough to have them on their podcast. Blank is next level. It's this perception thing of there's no way you'd be able to get on these shows if you didn't know something. And I think that's a really, really big thing because if you want to grow your brand, if you want to grow your podcast, you must look like you know what you're talking about. I mean, that's that's a fairly important part of this. So you going on other shows is going to be huge for that. What you're really doing is you are making a win-win. So this is the win-win. You go on a podcast and you add value. You add value to that person's podcast. They are going to introduce you to their audience. It's going to happen at times where some members from the audience like you better. They like your message, they like the way you speak, they like your personality, they like your humor, they like your stories, and they'll come check out your podcast. And that's an interesting thing that can happen. It takes time. Again, in the beginning, you're probably gonna be going on shows that don't have that many listens, but that's okay. Understand, if somebody has 30 people listening to each episode, that's you giving a speech to a classroom. Make sure you're thinking of that from the long run. One of the most common mistakes I hear in the beginning is, oh, you know, all these shows that want to have me on are small. And I always say, they have as many listeners as you do. Like, what do you mean they're small? That's okay. If you do a couple of those a week, you're getting exposed to 60, 70, 100 new people a week. That's a lot of people. That really, really, really adds up. Here's the other thing. And I didn't understand the importance of this, and I, I didn't understand how much this would really help me. It's going to help your confidence drastically because you're gonna you're gonna learn so much about the behind the scenes of podcasting you're gonna learn a bunch of different platforms so somebody might send you a zoom link right so that's one platform that people record podcasts on somebody might send you a Streamyard link that's what i'm recording this podcast in right now or a riverside fm link or a squadcast link or a google meet link or whatever it may be and you're going to learn a bunch about the behind the scenes you're going to learn a bunch about the technical side of things you're going to be on interviews where you say wow i didn't enjoy that very much i want to make sure that i never do that when i have a guest on or the opposite end of that, you'll be on episodes where you say, wow, I'm inspired by the questions that were asked here, or I really enjoyed this part of the interview, or I really enjoyed how the, the host had five rapid fire questions that they asked at the end, and it was different than the other vibe or the rest of the vibe of the interview. I enjoyed that very much. So you're going to learn a lot, not only about yourself, but you're going to learn a ton about the industry. And You'll see the other equipment people are using. You'll see the way they have their backdrop set up. You'll see how many people have good cameras, how many people don't have good cameras. There's a lot of this that really, really leads to a deep understanding of what is happening in the industry, right? Hi, my name's John Larito, and I just wanted to uh, give a big shout out to Kevin Palmieri. I had uh, reached out to him. He had been referred to me when I had shared with a friend of mine some interest in uh, doing a podcast and he said, you've got to use Kevin, he's fantastic. He's the best around, he'll get you started and off the ground and, and uh, soaring high in no time. And take it from somebody who knows nothing about podcasting other than maybe saying a few things, but as far as behind the scenes, the startup, everything, I knew nothing. Uh, Kevin was phenomenal in terms of leading me through the whole process and not just, um, easy to work with, but really, really knows his stuff. And um, a great combination between leading me through all the stuff I had no idea what I was doing, but also really listening to me and understanding what it was I was trying to accomplish 
and what my vision is. So whether you're looking for somebody to, to help you and get you started or somebody as I've done where I'm putting it entirely in his hands because I've got total trust and confidence in him and he is a true pro and easy to work with, any of those ends of the spectrum, you're gonna have a lot of success and a lot of fun working with Kevin. Trust me, thanks. Another thing, and something that I don't think a lot of people are really thinking about. When you go on a show, and this is going to be deep, right? But when you go on a show, the host, it's their job to lift you up in the eyes of the listener. So think about it this way. If, if I'm having you, if you're listening to this episode, and I'm having you on this podcast, when I introduce you, it is quite literally my job to make you look as good as humanly possible because I'm trying to borrow your credibility. So if I say this person has a, a thousand episodes and a, a million dollar business and blah, 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 I am subconsciously elevating you, which means a couple things. One, somebody might actually reach out to work with you from that audience if you have some sort of offer. And I'll talk about offers a lot, but I won't get into it deeply in this episode. But if you have a good offer, somebody might reach out to you cold. It's rare, but it, it can happen. And they might say, what does it take to work with you? Or another interesting thing that I have actually seen work way better than that is depending on what service or offer you have, you can actually work with a host. That's an interesting thing that happens with me pretty often where happened to me yesterday. I did this really awesome show. This show is all about uh, the host was somebody who had recovered from drug addiction, built a business out of that, and wants to grow their podcast. And at the end of the show, this person said, hey, what do you do as a podcast coach, as a production team? What do you guys do? And I explained it to him. And he said, okay, I, what does it take to work with you? And I went into what it looks like. And this person just sent me a follow-up email that I haven't opened yet. So it looks like we'll probably be working together. But why did that happen? Because when this person introduced me, today we have Kevin Palmieri, he's the host, the CFO, and the founder of Next Level University, a global top 100 podcast with 1,100 episodes, 650 plus thousand downloads, and listeners in 125 plus countries. Right there, he's elevating me to a level of this person is a podcast expert. And that person ended up having the potential of being a client. So that's an important thing to think about when you're going on other shows. I, it's not necessarily the audience that's going to be the value. I mean, yeah, some people will come listen, but you never know. The host and you might connect and you might have some sort of agreement. You might have some sort of opportunity to coach that person, depending, again, on the genre, on the category, on your area of expertise, on the value that you're adding. Last thing I'll say. I was on a podcast uh, probably like, I don't know, six months ago. And I got a, somebody followed me and on podcasts, and I have to catch up on this. I am way behind, but I am going to do this. When I'm on other podcasts, this is what's going to happen. You're going to get to the end of the podcast. And if the host is good, they're going to say, Hey, Kevin, tell the listeners where they can find out more about you and where they can contact you if they're interested in working with you. I always say this. I say, you know, this is where you can find me. Uh, I have a podcast called po uh, Next Level University as well as Podcast Growth University. My handle is at Never Quit Kid on Instagram. If you have any questions or anything, please just send me a message. And if you follow me, I will send you a video. That's what I do for the, the family, the Next Level family. I send videos. So this is what happened. One day I, I got a follower and I sent this person a video. Hey, blank. It's Kevin. I just wanted to say thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. If you ever need anything, just let me know. This person sent me a message back and they said, Hey, I heard you recently on blank podcast. One of my friends suggested I listen to it because they, they thought I'd get a lot of value from it. And I heard at the end, you said that you said, if you need anything, just reach out and I'll send you a video. And I can't believe you actually sent me a video. And now this person's a client. So it's one of those things where you're getting exposed to more people. But that also gives them the opportunity to meet you behind the scenes. And if you can over deliver behind the scenes, that's how things really start to build. That's how things really, really, really start to build. So that's just a story from me being on a, another podcast. Last thing I'll say, because this is going to be a quick one because I am behind today. But last thing I'll say about this. You're going to really start to see the trends 
and you're going to realize one of two things. You're going to realize, one, I am either better than I think, two, I have more work to do than I thought. This is what I mean by that. I was scheduled to be on, so I'm recording this on, I'm actually recording this like an hour before it drops. Shout out to the amazing team at Next Level Podcast Solutions. I was on, supposed to be on, I think, seven shows Wednesday. The first four shows all no-showed me. No text, no call, no email. I emailed them to say, hey, we had a meeting today. We, I, you know, we must have missed each other. I'm happy to reschedule if it's aligned. I only heard back from two of those people. Now, would you bet that the first two podcasts are going to win? I would not. I would not. I would bet more likely the second two that actually responded to my message will win. But you're going to see that I can't tell you, uh, Podcast Growth Nation, I can't tell you how many people show up late. I can't tell you how many people mispronounce my name. I can't tell you how many people don't know the name of the company, have done no research. I can't tell you how many people mess up in the middle of the recording and say, hold on, let me try that again. And again, nothing against that. That's par for the course. But that has helped me realize and helped me understand where I fit in in the grand scheme of things. It's going to help you do the same thing. You might get on a podcast with somebody who has 75 more episodes than you. And you might realize pretty quickly, oh, okay, even though I only have 25 and they have 100, I'm definitely holding my own in this podcast. I'm more talented when it comes to blank. Or this person's really, really good at this. I, I'm surprised that I wasn't able to hold my own. I went on a show recently with somebody who is just world class. Uh, this person has worked with royalty over in the United Kingdom and is just like a world class consultant and very successful, probably a multi, multi, multi millionaire. And it was one of the best shows I've ever been on. But one of the reasons was I was actually able to really, really pitch and catch with this person, where if that was my first interview, I probably would have been overwhelmed. So it allowed me to look back and reflect on how far I've come as a podcaster, how far I've come as a speaker, as a storyteller, as all of those things. So not only is a podcast guest spot, you getting on other shows, a tactic to grow your show, but it's also a tactic to grow you. It's a tactic for you to understand where you fit in in the grand scheme of podcasting, of speaking, of storytelling. You're going to learn a lot about yourself, and it's going to help you build confidence. It's going to help you build skills, and it's going to help you see what other people are doing. And that is, that is something that you can't pay for. So a couple places to look. I like to give a little tactic here. There's a and I have no affiliation. I'm not sponsored by any of these people. They're not, I'm not getting any money from them. There's a website called matchmaker.fm. There's a website called um, Podmatch. And there's also podcastguests.com. Those are three that we use. They're very simple. I think they're probably like $20 to $30 a month. I think podcastguests.com is actually free. I think the other two are $29 or $30 a month. But what you can do is it's very much like a dating website where you're going to have a bunch of profiles. You can say, I want to be on a sports show. Here it is. Cool. Let me search football. All the football shows will come up and you can just send them a message. Make sure your profile is good. Make sure it has all of your accolades. Make sure it... It really shows your area of expertise and what you love talking about. And then just start hammering messages. If you hammer five messages a day for a week, eh, I won't say you'll get on a show immediately, but that's that's a good start. And if you can aim to get on one to one to five shows a week, you're crushing it. Right now, we're aiming for 10 a week on top of the other eight episodes that we're doing. So, But that is the long tail of that. The importance of that is there's episodes out there right? I, I use this as an analogy with my clients. They say, well, I don't know. I don't know if it's that important. I say, go YouTube me. And I'm not saying that from a place of ego, but when you YouTube Kevin Palmieri, there's a lot of shows that come up. So anybody who ever does that, they're going to find a bunch of episodes and that might be a new listener. So that is the importance of getting on other shows. All right. I got to pop off because I have a meeting next week. Uh, I wrote it down. Next week, I'm going to talk about three questions that you need to keep asking yourself as a podcaster. Every single day, every single episode, every single thing that you do has to be based on these three. And that's the thing I see most often from these podcast breakthrough sessions. So I will talk about that. As always, if you need anything, please reach out directly to me. My handle is at NeverQuitKid. I'm still offering free 30-minute calls, not a sales call. 
no strings attached. I'm not going to sell you on anything. And I guarantee I will really, really, really help you. As always, Podcast Growth Nation, all the love. Keep on podcasting, and I will talk to you next week.